Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your always great support. Now, tomorrow, William Ruto is expected to attend a church in Nyahururu. SK Nyahururu Diocese. The Jesus are telling these politicians that tomorrow you must not, you must not be given a platform to address any Kenyan in these churches across the Republic of Kenya. As they are claiming they must start tomorrow, that this meeting of William Ruto, they will not accept any politician who supported this finance bill to speak before them. And they are going to ensure, no matter what, they are going not to speak. As they are now mobilizing themselves, this is how they are doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> occupy those churches from today. Do my message. To me, a bishop, to me, a pastor, no politician should be in that church. Kama ataki, basi sadaka yako, wena kwa mpuko yako. Iyo sadaka kaa na ayo, awa vijano nyo demonstrate, watumie instead. Watumie wanue maji, wanue ndizi, wanue anything. Credit, more, uh, whatever, bundles, so that these young men can be heard. And then kid you attack to Ndako Ambia, politicians are not leaders. An MP is not a leader. Ukangale roles are MP ni tatu. Ku legislate, ku oversight, na ku represent. The fact that ana ku represent doesn't mean ana ku lead. Ina mean, ina manisha, ana chukwa zile voices za yo constituency, ana zipeleka kwa bunge. Because nini wote, amwezi nge kwa yo bunge. But that doesn't mean that a politician is a leader. It doesn't mean so. Kazi yake ni ku oversight, ku make sure pesa yako inatumika vizuri, ku legislate. Kujua pa constituency weekend, muna muambia, tunataka uende upeleke hii sheria. Aende a legislate yu sheria on your behalf. Alafu, akue voice yako kwa bunge. Because nini wata mwezi ya bungeni. Kwa hivu, msikue muna ita wa watu leaders. They are not leaders. These are dealers. These are crooks. These are criminals. These are thieves. These are prostitutes. These are bad people. You should call them out. Tuwache kuwa beg beg, tunawomba omba kila saa tunawapuata kuwata. Wakipita hapa na mapurado, tunawomba omba. Tunawomba omba aje. So, politicians are not leaders. So, mwache kuwa waishimu. Mesika mtu wakisema hapa, tito ita waishimu. Mwishi waite. Let's call them by the name. Mina itanga majina yao. I've seen Aaron Cheruyoti ya nantarudia. Fuck you, Aaron. Yeah, wa. And then, kitu wa mwisho. Yes. Kitu wa land. Hey. Kwa hiyo finance bill, Please. whatever that document wakonayo kwa bunge, uh, kuna hiyo soreza freehold na leasehold, mwenda msome some. Kama kuna kitu emotional kwa maisha ya... As if that is not enough, we are just waiting how things are going to be. Because they have realized that the mobilization of ensuring them not speaking in our churches is now becoming something serious. As just the other day, just yesterday, Kipchumba um, Oscar Sudi was removed live on camera from the pulpit. The same thing happened to the member of parliament of Dagoreti South constituency, John Kiarie, John Kiarie being heckled and told to sit down. They don't want to listen to him. This also something that we uh, uh, we noticed during the night when Ababu Namwamba was in Carnival, where the fundraising of Eric Omondi's brother Barrio, Fred Omondi, was being conducted. He was forced to exit and even walk out of that meeting. What is the message here? The message is very clear. As the Gen Z's are now coming out to sponsor the hashtag Occupy Churches tomorrow, we are just waiting to see how the dramatic tomorrow is going to be. Because they have declared that they are not going to accept. They are not going to accept these individuals to take over. Despite the close allies of William Ruto coming out to say that it is not only the Gen Z's who are support, sponsoring themselves, but it is Raila Murudinga. So people like um, 
Samson Chirenge, they are telling Raila Odinga that he doesn't have respect to the government because it seems like he is supporting the Jinzis in this demonstration. And so, Chirenge is saying this. So we want to ask our brothers in Azimio. We know you need your sponsors here in protest. Can you stop the hypocrisy? Na nyinyi wenyewe mkuje mbele tukutane munduku mundu. Kwa sababu sisi wenye tuko kwa serikali, hii serikali tunatafuta. Na lazima hii mwaka nataka niambie wa Kenya wote mahali paliko. Hii ni mwaka ya tatu mkiona in the next one and a half years. Sisi hapa ndio matunda ya wenda mruta itaanza kuonekana jana nataka nishukuru wa bunge walipitisha mswada wa fedha wa mwaka huu iko mapato but Kenyans, remember one thing when the jenzi started this movement they declare that they must teach these leaders several lessons because they were not elected to of course serve the interest of william ruto they were elected to support the interest of the people. When the people are saying, no, it is no. If the people are saying yes, it is yes. Because the powers they are having, it is a power donated from the people. And you cannot convince me today that it is the power they inherited from someone. It is power donated by the people. And remember one thing, the people can decide to recall them. And there is a process in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya that these members of parliament can be recalled. But again, at the same time, these Gen Z's are now coming out like a storm where the Kenya Kwanzaa government, they are not believing their two eyes. They have started to throw blame games to other politicians who initially participated in this Azimio Lomoja One Kenya Coalition demonstration. And because they have realized that these Gen Z's, they are coming too much. Now they have started to divide them. We are having Gen Z's who are rich, Gen Z's who are poor. We are having Gen Z's who are smelling bad and Gen Z's who are smelling good. I've seen them setting those kind of narratives. But the reality, the truth of the matter, is the government, they have realized that uh, as they are projecting to the direction of enslaving Kenyans, the Jesus, their message is so strong, even attracting their parents. But one thing, Kenyans, I want to tell you today, tomorrow is, it is going to be a shutdown. And this shutdown is going to ensure that these politicians hawata ongea kwa makanisa, wasi onge, na hawata ongea. Reason being, is when you look at even the priority that the government of the day is having, is a wrong priority. We have something called national interest. These people do not have. National interest is like security, food, education, you know. But these individuals are telling us other things that are not national uh, interest is not important now. But Kimeo Mana, as I can see, the way the direction the Jesus are taking, it is not going to be noisy. It is not only going to be noisy, but it is going to be messy. Remember one thing. The Jesus, they have nothing to lose. Remember one thing. This government, they, are, they were used to have this idea that it was in you. They are having mandamano. They are used to say that, can we have your leaders? Can we sit on the table? Can we discuss? Kima Kime Umana, the reason being is that they don't have leaders leading these Gen Z's who can be brought on the table. 
They are just there. Demonstrate. They don't have offices. They don't have any positions. They are demonstrating. So then, who will you call on the table to discuss on the matters that we are trying to raise? And so then, they have realized that this is a consequence and it is going to um, damage them. And because William Ruto alituaribia wakati mwingi, akisema kwamba, that he has built the reputation of the Republic of Kenya. We rather destroy that reputation because we don't need respect from US. We don't need respect from IMF. We don't re need respect from World Bank. We need respect to stand as a country that gained independent and we must be independent as we are going to collect our taxes. We must be independent. That is what the call Gen Z's are trying to say. We are tired about IMF. We are tired about World Bank. We are tired to be slaves of West countries. We are tired to be slaves of United States of America. So when you see the Gen Z's are coming out, remember, they are learning. These people, they have graduated, they are having diplomas, degrees, PhDs, and so you can con not convince them. You know, earlier on, William Ruto and his brigade, they thought like, was his way to hakuna kitu wanaelewa. So wanawachanganya tu. But these Gen Z's, they are, they are learning. And that is why they are so terrified, because these people are having money. No one is funding them. They are funding themselves. And let me show you today. This individual can even raise their own money. And they can do whatever they can do. And you can't take them anywhere. If you decide to kill them, then you will kill them all across the Republic of Kenya. So this is the message. Tomorrow, these politicians must not speak in our churches. Let them convene their prayers in state house. But our churches, it is a no-go zone. That is it. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.